Welcome back everyone to another episode of my Grand Exchange only account. Now the original goal of this series was to get a thousand total levels without ever leaving the Grand Exchange area. But after achieving that a few months back, I expanded the series ever so slightly to just include the Varrock Palace and my POH and all of a sudden there's now a lot more content to go for. A small new area with a very limited amount of content has actually unlock so much. So the new goal is 1500 total. This is going to be very challenging. Hope you guys enjoy as always. If you do appreciate a like in the video as always, let's get started. So I've been chopping this yew tree for a long time now, uh, but this is going to pay off because we're just about to get another level. There is 79 woodcutting. Yews uh, are very slow as far as experience goes, but pretty AFK and we're making, you know, a little bit of money on the side. Okay, so one thing I haven't actually done in a while is a bit of crafting training. We're getting very close to 99 crafting and I kind of want to try to get my next level. Uh, right now I think we're 96 and we're about think, halfway to the next level. So I went ahead and checked and cutting amethyst into amethyst dart is about break even right now. I like to check that every once in a while because break even crafting training, very nice. And the experience per hour is actually quite high. Well, for a free method anyway. I think you get around 140, 150,000 experience per hour and it's super AFK as well. Uh, so actually we only have another 25% to go. So I'm just checking in here, no level, but uh, what the hell is going on over there? Look at all those barbarian assault pets. There's like a dozen of them, what the hell? I bless the pink hat boys. <laughs> it's probably like every barbarian assault pet in the entire game. Uh, so I've been working on this level for a day or two now, and we're finally going to get it. 97 crafting, took quite a while. And now overall, we mostly broke even on all our training, although I don't think this last batch of darts is going to break even, but that's okay. 97 crafting, that's pretty hype. Only two more levels to go until we get another 99. Yeah, so we sold our last bit of dart tips off. We lost a fair bit of money on the last lot, about a mil, uh, so that's not great. But on the other ones, we pretty well broke even. You can see we bought 3,000 there, turned them into 24,000 dart tips, and well, we lost like 30k on that, not bad. So I just had a really interesting thought. Now the next has been released for a couple of days now and there's a new item called Nihil Shards uh, which you can actually turn into Nihil Dust. Right now there's actually a pretty solid margin of around 700 GP ch just chiseling the shards into dust. Now what's really intrigued me here is Nihil Shards, they're stackable which means I'm not really sure how this works. Well I guess we're gonna find out really soon here so we went ahead and already bought a hundred of them. All we have to do is whip out our Pestle and Mortar, I think, use the Pestle and Mortar on the Nile Shards, and we'll slowly turn those into Nihil Dust. Now my question is, how many do you turn into dust at once? Is it like 28? Is it like 10? Does it ever stop? So we're up to the mid 30s now, and we just have kept going. So that's overpowered, what the hell? Does that mean if I buy like a thousand of them, I could just chisel them all without ever having to click again? This might actually be the most AFK money making method ever. I mean, I just still have not stopped. If there's literally no quantity that you do by default, then you just keep going until you disconnect or get kicked off. So I don't know, is it 10 minutes, 20 minutes, six hours? I, I don't really know. But this is significantly profitable each time I cut one, I'm getting 600 GP, only drawback, no experience, but I don't really care. If it's this AFK, it has merit on its own. So I've been testing this method for a little bit now and yes eventually you do stop grinding the Nile shard but not because 
of any inbuilt check or anything, you just log off because you've ran out of time. So you can AFK here for like 10 to 20 minutes at a time. It seems to vary a little bit, but I was able to grind all 1000 of these with only interacting with the client once, which means, yeah, this is literally the most AFK money making method in the entire game. From those 1000 shards, we made about 500K or 450K in profit. And I literally went and made myself a sandwich. So that's uh, well, pretty strong. And we're gonna try to take advantage of this while it's still available, while it's still profitable, because this account just, we just need money all the time. And we always seem to have to go out of our way to earn it. So when opportunities like this come around, you gotta take advantage. So there's another 3,000 pretty well Nile dust. Took a bit longer than an hour or something like that. So we're once again selling them for around a 500 GV profit, which means just on those 3,000, we're making nearly 1.5 mil. That's 1.5 mil profit like that, with me barely paying attention at all. All right, so while we've been AFKing hard, we've, uh, well, been trying to keep up with my farm runs. I haven't been doing a very good job, but there is 74 farming. Just one more level to go until I can finally stop boosting to plant the magic sapling. That will be pretty nice. So there's another 4,000 Nile dust sold. Uh, the margin has slimmed a bit, but uh, not by a whole lot. And we just made a 1.3 mil on, well, another 4,000-ish grinded. I mean, the margin will have to be very poor for me to not do this just because it I literally don't have to pay attention. So we've been doing this for quite a while now. Uh, the margin has slimmed though to a point where it's a bit inconsistent. Once it gets down to like 200 GP each, there is a risk of me just not making any money. We've been doing this over the course of three or four days though, and uh, I think we're gonna come out quite a bit ahead. I've not really been playing this account at all. I've just been having this on the side while I work on my main account, sell everything off, and we'll see how much money we made in total because it's looking pretty promising. So finally, after growing a solid amount of magic saplings, we finally reached 75 farming, which means we can legitimately plant them. Unfortunately, I've been kind of slacking on my farm runs a bit, but you know what? We're doing them as we can. They are kind of expensive. I mean, every magic sapling is like 150K, plus some of them do end up dying. So we're planting pretty much as many as I think I can afford. So I've actually been wanting to train my herblore up a little bit more. Whenever I can find a decent deal on Herblor supplies, I like to go ahead and try to buy them. Now, something that's always pretty cost effective is making super combat potions. Now, that's mainly because it's kind of annoying to do. It's a more intensive Herblor training method, and because of that, the GPDXP is actually usually pretty cost effective. Now, I went ahead and bought 2,000 of each of the ingredients, so it should take me roughly an hour. The drawback is I don't actually have the Herblor level requirement. So we're gonna use botanical pies. This might be totally awful because the botanical pie just boosts me to the right level, which means I'll have to repie every minute. So this is what I essentially have to do. I have to go ahead and eat a pie, deposit the pie, withdraw another potion, make seven super combats and repeat. That was pretty awful, not gonna lie. Uh, I really didn't enjoy that, but we're done. I don't think it'd be nearly as bad without having to use the botanical pies. We didn't even get a full level from it. Maybe once we're up to level 90 or maybe even level 88 or something, I might go ahead and try to do this again. But for now, I think I'm gonna have to try to find a better alternative. So I forgot to check in earlier, but after selling everything off, we actually ended up making about 10 million GP from all of the Nihil shards that we've grinded over the last couple of days or even weeks at this point. So I think it's safe to say definitely worth it. Okay, well we did end up selling them all off and we didn't really lose very much money on it, so that's nice. Now that said, I've actually found another pretty good option and that is making Bastion Potions. Now to make these, you need a Cadentine Blood Potion and a Wine of Zamrak, but right now the Bastion Potions are selling for a pretty inflated price of around 13,500. And we can buy the precursor ingredients and not actually lose too much on it. Well, that was some really lucky timing. Someone already sold me 2,000. So this is going to be so much easier. For one, I have the level to make it. Two, it's just way more AFK. And three, I think this is actually going to be potentially more cost effective than Super Combat right now. I would say that's not generally the case. This is just a bit of a price anomaly. 
but we're gonna take advantage of it while we can. There we go, another Herbo level coming in, 87 Herblore. Conventionally a very expensive skill, and that's why I'm really trying to do it slowly whenever I can find a good deal. Because, I mean, I don't have the money to waste like 100 mil on this 99. It just takes too long to get the money, but that is another level done. So there we go, we finished up all 2,000 potions, and one thing I forgot to mention is the whole time I was using amulets of chemistry, which is highly recommended with a potion this expensive, it actually saved me a fair bit of money along the way, and got me over halfway to another Herbler level, all from 2,000, which I think was totally worth it. So right now these are selling for 14,800. Kind of insane, I don't think we're gonna be able to sell many for this price, but Either way, I think we're going to do pretty well on these. Wow, that's our first genie in a long time. We'll take that. We've been chucking all of these on Hunter because, well, we might as well commit to a skill because it's so much more efficient once you get into the early levels. So yeah, we're halfway now to another Hunter level. So we went ahead and did another batch of Bastion Potions, and now we've managed to reach another Herblore level, 88 Herblore. Which is good because now we'll be able to, I think, fairly efficiently do super combats if we want to try that again. So combat training is something I've just kind of been doing on the side. Whenever I can, we do a little bit of combat training because there's just so many total levels here, but it's not particularly interesting. We just have to literally massacre guards. And there is another attack level, 64. Oh my god, I'm so... That is absolutely disgusting. What the hell is that? A Rocky Pet from a guard. My god, this is not even my first Rocky Pet. I've gotten two Rocky Pets, neither of them on my main account. And we got this at level 54 thieving. That is ridiculous, actually. Hey, we'll finally have someone to chill with me while I do all my boring grinds. Well, the odds of that happening are actually like 1 in 250,000, so I feel super lucky. And actually, one of my favorite pets, we can turn him into a little red panda guy. He's so cute. Now, I dared to hope I would get a pet on this account, but I never really thought I would, so I never actually added it to the goal list, but uh, we're going to put it on there now so we can cross it off. Well, that's really exciting. The, the actual reason I was here, though, was just to get some thieving levels, because I haven't really done it in a while. What other pet could I get here? I guess the woodcutting pet. Is that it? I mean, have we gotten half the pets? There's another thieving level coming in. 56 thieving chilling with my old little red panda guy and oh yeah also 1350 total i totally forgot about that another great milestone for the account only 150 total levels left to go i have no idea how long this is gonna take uh i didn't really plan this far ahead didn't think i'd really make it this far actually there is 57 thieving so with this last level here i think that's where i'm gonna end it for today uh just updating the guard kill count almost 13,000 now so we're getting pretty far up there and for a total level, we are finishing off at 1353, which means I think we gained uh, 16 total levels today. Not bad. The real story here is we got a pet and we also got a couple of our higher leveled skills leveled up further. So a lot of progress and I hope to bring you another episode a bit sooner than the last gap. Thanks for watching guys as always and I'll see you next time. Now, before I go here, I want to give a giant thank you to all of my members over on YouTube. Thank you so much to The Hybrid, Aleandra, Suzwani's Flail, and Kush Patel for all being subscribed to the Dragon Tier. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much. Also, a big thank you to Cadell Studio Gaming, Locustiz, Mexos, Base Titch, NDM001, and YoYoSub89 for also being subscribed at the Runite Tier. Appreciate it a lot. As always, if you're looking for another way to support the channel, Becoming a YouTube member is an awesome way to do so. You will become immortalized in all of my future videos, get a custom role in my Discord server, and access to my video release schedule. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.